Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Liz Fighter and welcome back to the episode of Persona 5, this episode 45? Possibly? Yeah, I think so. Now in the last episode, we basically did a Mementos thing. We wanted to go into Mementos, we wanted to see, you know, what with everything was going on. I didn't actually get to finish the other requests, because like... So, these, this two right here, see, winners don't use cheats, this one. Now I needed, we, we need to talk to someone who owns the, uh, who does the, um... The arcades, the different arcades around here. Teacher made to suffer in bad medicine, though. I I didn't see any reason why I couldn't do these two, except for the fact that this one wasn't done yet. So there was no point. So I basically did two requests. It was a waste of my time, but at least I got some money back because I wasted it all in the um uh, in the uh, the previous episode buying that stuff because I didn't check how much this stuff it was because I'm an idiot. But anyway, yeah, uh, let's let's go ahead and go upstairs and finish out, um, finish up that DVD. Up here, I think I got one more. Oh. Let's go ahead and finish this DVD. Yeah, I got one more. Tree. I don't know about this. What if I make a fool of myself on the course? Man. You've been preparing the teacher filed up his students who was getting nervous before the golf tournament. Is the teacher knows the students well. He's giving a different pep talks to each of them. Oh. So we finished watching tea, huh? Maybe you learned a thing or two about proficiency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not that I really care about it, to be honest with you. I just did that so I okay. could finish the DVD. Well, right? I don't know what I'm going to need proficiency for in the future. You never know. But yeah, um, I finished the charm fully, so I'm able to do with Makoto. I wonder how much longer this heat will continue. It's exhausting. I did check back in the video, it was Makoto, I need to be a certain level of charm in order to be her boyfriend or testing boyfriend, and I think that was it. I think I'm fully able to do that now. You know the rankings that are popular nowadays? Are you interested in them too? Rankings? Uh, of course. I don't even know what they are. I don't blame you. Everyone's paying attention to it. Did you know my name is listed too? It's apparently due to my recent disapproval of the group. Oh, you mean like wh who I should ta change the hearts of? Yeah, I know who you're talking about now. Before I knew it, I turned into a bona fide villain. You always were. Still, I thought that if I became a target, I could figure out their methods. That would be interesting, actually. He puts himself on the line of duty here to like become a target. That's the, That's an interesting idea. The idea was appealing when I thought about it. Of course, there's no guarantee I'd be safe. Well, talking anymore will make us late. See you later. See ya. It's all over the news. Check out the Phantom Thieves chocolate wafer. I saw it in Shibuya and I couldn't help myself. It comes with a sticker, right? There's so much Phantom Thieves merchandise all of a sudden. Although, if you ask me, the Phantom Thieves isn't a very cool name. I don't know. I like it. So mysterious. Do you think it'd be bad to post my own name to the fan site to get a change of heart? I just want to meet the Phantom Thieves. It doesn't work that way. You're not even gonna remember them. I mean, like, have you seen anyone else targeted okay, let's by get us? Started. Like, the school trips tomorrow. I always got so excited the night before my trips. You leave tomorrow, right? It'll take six or seven hours to get to Hawaii. You'll be pretty morning when you arrive. Oh yeah, watch out for the jet lag. Hawaii's time zone is 19 hours behind Japan's time zone. Which means you'll get there in the morning of the 7th. You're leaving at night, but arriving in the morning of the 7th, this must be quite a shock to your systems. Jet lag is one thing, but our perception of time itself can be distorted sometimes. Have you ever looked at your watch and felt the second hand stop longer than a second? How about you? Say, T.O. Game Coon. Do you know what's the name of the phenomenon where the second hand looks like it stops moving? A Veerts log, chronostasis, a chronograph, a time paradise. This sounds cool. This is it. Let's do that. Right. Yeah, that's correct. I knew it. You see. I knew it was gonna sound cool. When a person changes their viewpoint, there's a moment of time that goes unaccounted for in their mind. In order to fill that blank, the brain experiences a fictional moment. That's where the phenomenon comes from. The human brain really is incredible, right? It can make you feel like time has stopped. No oh, that's cool. Wow, he got it right. He re is he really a criminal? Seems like a punk, but maybe he's actually serious about studying. Nice going. Epic. Not bad. Encyclopedic. I don't really care about my knowledge at this point. Oh, but my time's already um, up. See I want to hear all your stories when you get back, okay? Have fun. <sighs> You're going to Hawaii tomorrow, huh? Don't worry about the house. Oh, well, me and Fadaba will hold down the fort. 
All righty, Dan. You going over there with, with Fataba while we're gone? Ah, yeah. This time tomorrow, we're going to be in Hawaii. I can't wait. It should be fun. You got your time wrong. Yeah, it can still be in Japan at that point. Ryuji, you know you're not leaving until tomorrow, right? Right? Wait, for real? Enough of the chit-chat. You should be concentrating on class. I don't care about that after what I just heard. I'm totally out of motivation to work. Sounds like business as usual. Well, time to research sightseeing spots in Hawaii. You got over that pretty damn fast. Oh yeah, are there any famous places in Los Angeles? Hollywood! It has a vibrant art scene as well. I expect the trip to prove quite stimulating. That didn't hold a candle to Hawaii's beaches, though. There's a multitude of fabulous beaches near Los Angeles as well, you know. Huh? It's close to the ocean? Yes. <laughs> Do you know where LA is? Well, it's the capital of America, so it's in the middle of somewhere. New York is the capital, you fucker. What about Hawaii? Don't know. Some ocean, I guess. You're hopeless. How long will you keep going to keep this up? Come on, can't you guys be more mature about this? You fuckers. I didn't know. Capital city, bro. You never heard that? <sighs> I know you guys are excited for the trip, but you're getting a little carried away. Wait till. All right. Uh, where? Are the... Okay, this is outside. How do I go outside? Entrance. That's what I wanted. I can hang out with Makoto today, or is this... I have to be higher level of shit? What am I the fuck is? What do you mean? She's usually like right here, isn't she? I guess. What is? What is this then? What is the, this bullshit? What is that? Okay. Okay. Who did we? Who did we? Who did we do? Who did we save? What? Like what? Which one? Oh fuck! Me. Come on. Damn it! U L A. Okay. Request. Let's see. So we did um, fighting for the truth in journalism and who's muscling in doing a giant. So the teacher. And bad medicine are both not done yet. Okay, so we did we did this one first, of course, fighting for the truth. Uh-huh. Oh, it's right over here. That's what it is. What is this social link? The fam thieves are the best, man, I agree. What's this one? Oh, Dr. Merrick. Welcome. Hey, good work today. It's already on, you expect it to get a little less hot, huh? Oh, do you maybe have time today? If you wouldn't mind, can I borrow you for a chat? I got snacks too. Oh, damn it. Mm. Right, whatever. Let's it's open. It. Let's do it. Why not? I was gonna level his social link up next. Marky seems serious. Seems to be able to grasp something soon. I feel like my bond with Marky will grow deeper soon. Be Hell careful. yeah. Okay. We'll take care. Nice. Who is this fucker? We'll be parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. Just let us know if anything comes up, okay? Hey, okay. Then off we go. Look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. <sighs> you guys are still talking about that trip? You're just jealous you can't go. What? Oh, we can't, we can't go out today? Yeah, that makes sense. <sighs> Leave it tomorrow, aren't you? Hurry and go to sleep already. God damn it. Okay. I should write something. Fine. Fair enough. Gotta have the celebration a little bit. Yeah. Hey, uh, never mind. Have fun on your trip. Okay. By the way, I am old enough to drink in this country, so don't if you're not. Bitches, I swear. Y'all trying to off, steal huh? my beer? You're taking off. Yes, I am. <laughs> don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there to keep an eye on you. You're never here. You're only here when you're, uh, when, when I'm here. Yeah, I'm not, <laughs> I never cut loose. What are you talking about? What are you talking about, man? I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one. What? How, why is it my job to look after Futaba now? We'll talk more about our next job once you get back. Okay. I almost forgot about that. Well, someone's excited for their vacation. I knew you were jealous, Morgana. You can't hide it from me. You want to stay in a freaking cat box for six hours? I'm so sleepy. It'll take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's going to take off on time. 
I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Is it just me, or is Ryuji not here yet? Ah. Here he is. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. <sighs> Coming late even on a day like this? <laughs> it's better to come late, because then you don't wait around for the plane for a half an hour. That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? Maybe for you, you're underpacked. It'll be fun either way. Yeah, that. Well, I guess so. Hey, guys. They want us to gather near the boarding gate soon. Okay. Why don't we take a group shot before we take off? Okay, that sounds good. Oh, sounds good. That's what I said. Stop stealing my words out of my mouth. You be our cameraman, okay? Let me join in, too. The you too, lady. Makoto. All right. Here goes. Uh, huh? Uh, where am I supposed to look? It's up to you. Let me see. Let me see. <laughs> so what? Ryuji, you got crap in your eyes. What? Holy shit, she's right. How could you tell, Futaba? You surprised? I snuck an app on Connor's phone. All I, I can see all I want through his camera. You're looking now, right, Connor? Hey, <laughs> you can't underestimate the original yeah. Medjet. Talk about a nasty trick. I am so glad she's not an enemy of ours. Yeah, right? That would be difficult. Hopefully that's not, um, that's not foreshadowing. <laughs> May I have some iced coffee? Coming right up. Ladies and gentlemen, we've begun our initial descent into Hawaii. We ask hey. that you please return to your seats and ensure that your seatbelts are safe. Whoa! Here we go. Passport control, foreigners. So, how long will you be staying? Yeah, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have no idea, though. <laughs> The tropical air! Hi, aloha! You can find your buses Whoa. that way. No. Damn, you speak Japanese? Whoa, I see it! The diamond thing! Oh man! The ocean is so blue! I can't see it! There it is! Oh, it is! Yeah, I can see it now! What the hell, game? You're trying to tell me away from me? Come on. Yo, he's surfing, man. ATL, bro. Whoa, beautiful. I'm jealous. It's winter time now. It's cold as hell. Yes, we're here! Hawaii! Nice. I am so embarrassed. Why? <laughs> Oh, is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? It's probably you. Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. What? What are you, the king of random facts? <laughs> I'm the type that likes to look up stuff beforehand. Fair enough. And uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. I want a room with this guy. <sighs> you belong to a different class, Sakamoto kun. <laughs> no, you can't. How are you here? You said you were supposed to like stay behind for shit. It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out after all. <laughs> I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. Oh, shut up. We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? Hey, yo, oh, you got okay sorted out. You, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? 
So they know she's a phantom thief or something? We've never what? gone overseas before, so we thought it'd be reassuring if we had someone who knows English. Oh, yeah, that's why. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Bye bye. So, my mo mission with them? Come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Oh, then is it okay if I room with you? Okay, that's fine. I'd rather be alone. Why are you asking? That's fine. It's decided then. Anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. So you meant if it was, then I could do something stupid? That's good. That's good advice. Hmm? I just do so stupid shit all the time. this is Waikiki. Well, there sure are a ton of people here. And a lot of tall buildings like hotels. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought Anne was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. <laughs> then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, uh, these ladies are massive unlike the girls in Japan. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested. I guess so. I know, right? Moving on. Take a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Where? Ooh. Oh, I saw it from the bus, too. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? The F? <laughs> Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki, too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants then. Hey, we're on our phones and chatting. This is no different from when we're in Japan. Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. It's like, God, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii like. What's that? What's Hawaii like? Surfing, hiking, uh, hula dancing? Oh, there you go. That makes sense. Uh-uh. I ain't down for that. <laughs> we can finally take a breather. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site ranking started, right? I had her fan site? <laughs> uh, I have to start there. <laughs> it's fucking... the Phantom Aficionado website. Fan site for short. Thank you, man. I never would have guessed that. You at least know how it's been really lively, right? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I can't believe I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good-looking one. His popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. Uh. He posed as some hero of justice, but... That's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Uh, to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. I guess, you see, you know, a catchy. everyone liked a catchy, and then all this shit happened with the Phantom Thieves, and they're like, oh, fuck a catchy. You know, people just go where, whichever way the wind pulls them, you know? Don't you think about them too? Yeah, I do. You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Ah, let's go to bed. Good night. Night, bro. Stop talking about this bullshit in here. Woo. Phantom Thieves equals godly. Man, it's nothing but Japanese people around here. I thought we were gonna be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. Well, you gotta leave the resorts. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey, what's with the low energy, Makoto? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. I'm <laughs> used to dealing with students' troubles, but I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. That must have sucked. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving. 
It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. That lack of coordination is what led to them using students as chaperones as well. You know, could you be a little bit more d dismissive in your tone here? I think there's probably one person out there who didn't realize it yet. By the way, you're rooming with Mishima, right? How is it? Anything interesting? What do you mean, interesting? All fan side all the time. He won't shut up. Really? Mishima-kun is the one who made the fan site, correct? Fan site? You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Are they really mentioning us? Overseas, too? I think so. We've already made our international debut. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. You really have no chill. <laughs> Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to What the society. fuck? We don't got time to be relaxing over here. How did you get here? Ain't that right, you ski? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay here a bit longer. What? What are you doing here? Wasn't your school supposed to be going to Los Angeles? Apparently, they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. There were no signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. Interesting, okay. Did you just bring rain wherever you go? <laughs> Could it be that what happened at the fireworks festival was his fault as well? Yeah, right? Don't go bringing any storms here, you got that? I mean, it is Hawaii, you probably get a little rain every time, you yeah. know. I'll do my best. By the way, there's nothing planned after this. What are you all gonna do? Uh, oh yeah, I still gotta buy souvenirs. My mom asked me to grab some stuff for her. I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana, too. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. Then it's settled. I wonder what Morgana would want. Man, our group's totally the same even out of Japan. <laughs> That's what I'm talking. Huh. I didn't realize Big Bang Burger was in Hawaii, too. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. Now that you mention it, I read a news article recently about the success of Okumura Foods. Ah, yes. The company that owns Big Bang Burger. Okumura? Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Oh! Is that true? I guarantee it. I don't make mistakes about that kind of stuff. Okumura Foods? Sure you don't. Do I hear sarcasm? <laughs> hmm? What's the matter? Oh, it's probably nothing. Just a rumor I heard about Okumura Foods. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, so we can remember the trip and all. Ooh, good idea! Just line up over there. Are you sure you don't want to be in it? Thanks. I thought I, I was going to be in it ensure the composition is well balanced. It's all right. I know the rule of thirds and everything. Man. Ugh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Go for it. Kyle, why would you take it like that? You're supposed to do this. You know, you don't take pictures mm, like we this. We still have some time to spare, right? Where to next? There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? That sounds lovely. I would quite like a short rest. All right, let's head over there. Hmm. Huh. Don't you think the food around here is kind of salty? You might be right. Oh, shoot. I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another bottle at the convenience store. You want to spend like $25 on this shit? I'll so. go with you. I guess we will need to wait for them to come back. I'm so bored. By the way, you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? There's no way. So crazy. Huh. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful. We are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Oh, good idea. Let's try asking around while we wait for Ron and Makoto. Oh, sweet. Hell yeah, I get to walk around? Fuck yeah. What's up, sir? Oh, I've heard of the Phantom Thieves. In fact, I'm a big fan. 
It's so awesome how they kick the bad guys' asses. I wonder how they steal hearts. Huh. He actually seems to be quite knowledgeable. Dude. Damn, it's crazy how many people know about us. This is friggin' awesome. Happy man. What's up, bro? Fan up these. Oh, like the ones from Japan? Whoa. I read about them in a news article recently. What of it? <laughs> That's actually all I wanted to know. Thanks. Oh, hello, cheerful woman. Oh, fuck. Let me talk to cheerful hey. woman. No, I'm fucking talking to the cheerful woman. Phantom Thieves? I've never heard of them. Are you guys from Japan, right? Are the Phantom Thieves special people like samurais or geisha? Hmm. hmm. I suppose that understanding isn't necessarily incorrect for someone from a foreign country. Uh, ho ho. Oh, what the fuck? It's you again. I see it. Huh? Huh? Hey, ain't she kind of cute? Maybe we should ask her some questions, too. Yeah, I see her. I know she was, she was just saw her earlier. Uh, free time is almost up. Shouldn't you be heading back soon? Are you a Shujin student? That's right. By the way, your blonde friends seem very excited on the airplane coming here. Aha, <laughs> you were watching him? Hey, you're that girl we saw watering the plants. Sorry to surprise you. I'm another third year who was... I accepted the task to take my mind off of things. But I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. See you. Bye-bye. Sorry, were you waiting long? Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year, same as you, Makoto. Mm -hmm. I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's head back to the hotel. Man. Of course. You're the one taking pictures and shit, Oh, What am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. Then again, we are on a trip, so... Excuse me, Miss Kawakami? About the post-beach plans. What's that? No! <laughs> um, did I find you at a bad time? Not at all. What's the matter? Thought she was posing for pictures or something. Found it. One after another, too. What did you find? Still working, can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Ooh, so much. All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. I'm basically useless. Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me. If you got something <laughs> to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. What were you saying? <laughs> Let me go. You feel so nice. Fucking Morgana. I do like... not. So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human. Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. That's true. Fucking <sighs> God. There are even more posts now. Oh wow! What are you talking about? The president about? of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly up the rankings. We're on a trip, you know. Come on! You can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. So what? All right, I'm on vacation. I'm not on break. I'll worry about Phantom Thief stuff later. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs. That's how they have so many stores. What's up? Ryu G. Yo. What's going on? Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. I felt totally awkward staying in there with him. I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Mm -hmm. Even though there are only two beds? Coming! Who the fuck is that? Takamaki? Oh, you again? The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. Oh! <laughs> We're starting to see a little bit of a connection here. I know that feeling. And she took the key! I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. 
Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. They took down Medjet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. That reminds me, what time is it? <sighs> oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Wait, what? I don't, I don't know if that's a good idea. Are you serious? Don't worry, I trust you guys. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds. Even if someone sleeps on the sofa, one of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. So who's that gonna be? Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? Hell yeah, dude. Yes! What? <laughs> I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. On. Let's hope he's not sick or something, you know? Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't it? <laughs> this all feels so strange. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. <laughs> okay. Me? Uh... Well, she's got to have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. Mm -hmm. So looks are what's most important to you. That's not what he said. What? Your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs, huh? So you really are that kind of guy. That ain't fair! What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? One with a great body, one who's really smart, one shrouded in mystery. I don't have a type. Uh... Ba, 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 ba. I don't know. I guess Yukiko was really smart, so let's go with that. Wait, are you talking about her? Who? Well, we answered honestly. It's your turn next. So, what kind of guy do you... Oh, fuck. What's wrong with Mishima? So, what kind of guy do you... I knew it. I thought... That doesn't sound good. You know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. <laughs> You're not used to it, that's for sure. No, I believe that is a wise decision. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article. Unnecessary information was leaked, after all. Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. Yes, there's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Well, then. We'll make it so that it was a uh, heart attack. Oh, you motherfucker. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. This guy's starting to creep me out a little bit, to be honest with you. Their word is final. 71% now. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. Damn it. This isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around, same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left. Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. But weren't some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit? I 
think? And that's it! That's what this trip is missing! Come on, we totally gotta get moving during our free time in the afternoon. What are we going to do? Make a once-in-a-lifetime summer memory! Okay. <laughs> Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and, you know, what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. That's Vegas! We can get some girls' numbers during the day, then sneak away to them at night. <laughs> you in or what? Yeah, hey, goddamn right. How could I say no? Let's do this. Me too? It'll be great! Neither of us have girlfriends who'd get mad about it either. I guess that's true, but... Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. Who the fuck is that? Ooh, you get a message? Who could that... Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you-know-what. Do one know what? What, what do I know about what? Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? Don't give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try and get a little more excited. Man. Well, bye. What the fuck is that we mean? Oh. Phantom Thieves message. Gotcha. I'd love to go for a walk on the beach right in Hawaii. After all, I can finally take a break from my job, too. If you don't have any plans, would you work? Oh, okay. What was that message earlier? Was it from Zaba? Don't tell me. Was it a girl? Come on, you gotta make memories with us instead. We bombed on that beach in Japan, after all. It's the last moment of free time. Well, let's take a walk with Makoto. Really? Thank you. Should I wear a swimsuit? We'll see you later. <laughs> that is the interesting one, right there. Sorry to ask you out here so suddenly. Seems Makoto's been waiting for me here. Being a chaperone is more difficult than I expected. We've had a lot of meetings. I honestly wanted to contact you earlier, but this is the first free moment I've had. You're doing great. Let's enjoy ourselves then. I can't decide where to look. Let's enjoy ourselves then. That sounds lovely. Alright then, let's take a walk. Cool. Oh, a food stand. Garlic shrimp. I've heard that's a famous Hawaiian dish. Garlic shrimp? What? I've just fucking heard that before. Are you... Adventurous when it comes to food? Uh, depends. Oh, fuck, that's not what I meant to do. It's amazing. I always just stick with the standard fare. That is, that, that was the right choice. I meant to say the other one, but I'm glad I chose that one. Well, let's give it a try. You're two from Japan? Indeed. Uh, yes, we are. How about them phantom thieves, huh? The guys that steal hearts. How about it, huh? How do you know about them? Heard about it on the news. They're all the rage in Japan, yeah? Seems like we're even making headlines abroad. Say, if you run into them, tell them I say hello. Okay, ask man. Ask them to change people's hearts so everyone loves shrimp. That's <laughs> uh, uh, not how course. it works. I'll do just that. So you get all the money in the world, eh? Damn. The owner gave us a heaping pile of extra shrimp. That's amazing. We gazed over the ocean while we enjoyed the delicate flavors of a foreign country. How beautiful. Yeah, it is nice, isn't it? Oh, it's already so late. My sister would be upset if she saw me laid back like this. To tell you the truth, I wasn't particularly eager to go on this trip. But if it's like this, I think I'd like to come again. I know, it's beautiful, isn't it? It's been fun. Chaperone us next year, too. <laughs> you know I'm graduating this year. Well, doesn't matter. Um, I'd like you to have this. Thank you. Ooh, take your keychain. It's a small wooden keychain. It dignifies a warm expression as reminiscent of a coda. It's not the best souvenir, but it will remind you of the memories we made today. What memories? I love it. <laughs> Thank goodness. Well, we should probably return before it gets dark. Just a little longer. I suppose I can't complain about that. <laughs> Fair enough. Damn, I did not think I would be in with Makoto, but I guess it's been decided now. The two of us bask in the sunny Hawaiian sunset, just me and Makoto. Not that I'm complaining either or anything. Don't, don't get me wrong, guys. I'm not looking at gift horse in the mouth, but still. Uh, it, was it was terrible oh, getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? 
It's definitely a possibility. And it was terrible for him too. <laughs> You'll survive, Mishima. Thanks. I guess I didn't exactly turn down the invite either. I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but he might be too different for me. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Well, I guess so. Anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? Cool. Hey. We're still open for business. Get that cat upstairs. Aww. It's not like anyone's coming in anyway. Plus, if it's someone does come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know, that line's not gonna work. Oh, it's Maraki. Hey! What did I tell you? Get that cat out of here! I'm sorry. No, no, please. There's no need. I'm sorry. Well, wait a sec. It's... I was told them T.O. Game is lodging in a cafe, and I just so happened to be passing by, so... Uh -huh. I see. So you teach at a school, huh? Not really. I'm just a counselor. Well, in any case, I apologize for the cat. Normally, he stays upstairs. It's fine by me. I love animals. They don't seem to share this sen sentiment, though. <laughs> mm. The heck's he doing here? Connor's off on his little trip. No clue. He's just some alien little stranger to me. Say. You talk with your cat? That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry, did I frighten you? My apologies. I just found it impressive is all. Sorry about the cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba. We'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. <gasps> that book. Oh, this? It's a subject called Cognitive Science. Any interest? Oh, fuck. What? You're... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? Huh? I'm sorry if there was anything I... The cafe's now closed. I'll have to ask you to... Sojiro! I'm okay! He stays. What's good is driving a few customers away gonna do you anyhow. Fataba. <laughs> so that book, is it what you teach, uh, sir? I mean, mister? Hmm. Uh, well, eh, no, not at all. I'm not a teacher. What's for it, then? It's just a personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? Yeah. Well, of course. It's a wonderful division of science, and it can help many people. It makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> yep. Mom thought the exact same thing. Mom? His, her mother studied it, too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make some sense being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, my mom owned. She loved me so much. <sighs> Past tense, huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. All right. Come let's on, go. Mona, let's go. Off to a menless room. Hey, wait! Fataba! <laughs> Sorry about that. Would you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. Your coffee truly is amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Man, things are changing around here. Wow. Sojiro almost threw out Mariki. That's funny. The school trip is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. Barely even felt like I was out of the country, though. Even Yusuke showed up. I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. So, what did you end up doing yesterday? You keeping secrets from me? That's against the bro code. I'm not telling. What? Oh, that sounds pretty damn suspicious to me. I was joining the Italian Mafia. What of it? I'm not gonna keep prying, though. Last thing I need is your secret lover coming after me with an axe. <laughs> <laughs> That's enough, you guys. It felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Ooh, count me in. Yeah, be good. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. <laughs> why does that not surprise me? You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? <laughs> I assume the school's paying for it. I mean, 
Or if he what paid... What do you think Morgana and Futaba would like? The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. That's cats, too? I thought it was just dogs. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine? If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around, then? Look! They have coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There's acai powder over here. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I don't know what you mean. We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. Oh, well said. In that case, let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. Yusuke, you find something? An hourglass that measures three minute increments. What? Uh, w why? What's the point of that? Well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. But can't she just buy one of those in Japan? <laughs> oh crap, we're almost out of time. Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Something Morgana would like. I feel so like someone's staring at me from Hello. behind. Hello? Oh my god, what the fuck, man? How are you said? I thought it was just a second year thing. Senpai! You startled me. You don't look it, though. You're good at keeping your cool, senpai. <laughs> huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Hmm? That girl. Are you talking about her like she's not standing right there? Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast. Yes, that's right. Our club's here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. Oh, damn. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. Yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. Hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say, what doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. That's not true at all. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. Ooh, I ought to do that too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. They're great. Mm-hmm, I think so too. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Sounds good to me. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. Oh, a good luck charm? I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? Bye bye see ya. And here we go, back to home. They really created this for like one time animation. That's pretty cool. I'm serious. That's why the principal. Right but still, who would have 
eventually shut up and just not I guess you got a point. Go, man. It's green. <sighs> Is this the guy they said it was going to have a heart attack? The SAU director or whatever the fuck his name was? What's going on here, man? I want to... No, man. No, man. No. Motherfucker. How did they orchestrate that? You kidding me? How did they fucking make that happen? Dude. No, don't we suck. Oh my hell, what the fuck, dude? What? What the hell just happened? Yo, welcome back. What the fuck was that? Dude, oh my. What the fuck? You get tanned a bit? How was Hawaii? Aloha. <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Uh, I can understand why. While you guys were off having fun, things here have gotten a bit more complicated. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Calling cards? That might mean that the effectiveness of calling cards might go down in the future because they'd just be like, ah, well, they probably just bought this at the fucking Phantom Thieves store, you know? That would be interesting. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try too? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? <laughs> Sounds good. Like Phantom Thief curry? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantomy effect. <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, all right? Yeah, right. I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi Kun? No, well, race him back, dude. There he is, the anti thief detective. I hope he slips up and self destructs. How's that gonna happen? <laughs> I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. Oh, now you're gonna change your tone now that everyone hates you? They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. Because yeah, everyone hates him now, and then they're, 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 he has to soften it or else people are going to think he's worse. Now. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no, I shouldn't say anymore. That's right. Get off, you bitch. Come on, you can say it. Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. What's the world coming to? Rude! <laughs> what are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Wanna meet now? I just got here. <laughs> Seriously? Jet lag? Fine then. Tomorrow. Like, give me a break, man. I just got here. It's 80.7. What's that? That's so cool. A Phantom Thieves stamp? Isn't it awesome? Who do you think the Phantom Thieves will target next? I wonder. I'm really excited to find out. I don't care who it is. I'll just do it already. So we're not going to talk about the principal that got had a heart attack and got ran over by a fucking semi-truck? <sighs> hey, you got a minute? You look sleepy. Attention, all you jet-legged. Someone from Shujin came for LeBlanc yesterday. What, who? Oh, uh, he had messy hair and glasses. Don't know, it just sounds like Connor to me. Oh, that's right, Meriki did stop by. Was his name Meriki? I think so, Dr. Meriki, the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too? You don't think he's connected to the incident with Pataba's mother? Oh no, I don't get that vibe from him. He seemed actually interested in cognitive science, so it wasn't like he was just using it. You two get talking then? Oh, it's little. He seemed nice. 
For a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is the word for it, but yeah, he's cool. Wait, you want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having my heart probed by another stranger. Truth, man. Still, I am curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual reticence. Reticence? Fuck, I don't know. I don't know, we just talk normally. But he's such a good listener, right? Maybe you ended up talking more than usual. So it's true, he does have an extraordinary effect. Surely, he must have some greater insight to better espy the innermost truths of the heart. Holy shit, this dude is ESP? SP, to see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way you can arrange for me to meet him? What, me? You want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there is something here I must confirm for myself. Well, I can't make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. My sincerest thanks for looking forward to finally meeting him. Interesting. The photo I took in Hawaii. Uh, I'm showing a photo I took in Hawaii. <laughs> I love how I'm just like, he's just like chilling there. He's like, yo. He's got a drink in his hand, just like, yo, no, I don't give a fuck about what's going on here. Ah, the hibiscus, truly a flower of singular beauty. The vivid color complements the water, too. Right? Too bad Ryuji had to ruin the shot. Dude, get real. A guy can't wear a flower in his hair. It's weird. I don't know. The guy next to you wears it like a champ. Oh, one more to share. <laughs> the heck is that? It's intense. Not my style, though. If you're going to be that rude about it, I'm not lending it to you. Wait, you actually bought that thing? Yes, for sketching purposes. You're kidding. Did you seriously have the cash for that? When I showed them how much money I had, they lowered the price. Truly a land of generosity. Wow, that's like max level haggling maneuver. For real, man, wish I'd gotten a price cut. It was nothing of the sort. I simply expressed my passion to them. Language barriers are surprisingly easy to break through as long as you can convey your feelings. Interesting. Okay, now we gotta wait for Futaba's dating analysis. Let's talk some other time. You should get to sleep for tonight, though. You look exhausted. What? Oh. I thought I already slept. Actually, there's something I want to talk to you about. Never mind, you should probably get some rest. Don't worry, it's nothing important. I thought it was... I thought we'd already slept, dude. Hey, sis. Well, hello, Makoto. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. I have souvenirs for you. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Yeah, thank you. You're finally talking about it. This motherfucker got ran over. <laughs> he suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. Same thing that happened to Fataba's mother. Principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? Same as the uh, SAU director or whatever the fuck is the name. Alright, he was like, oh, we're gonna make him have a heart attack and have him die, huh? He was the motherfucker. This is all starting to come together now. I was wondering why I was talking to him all, or seeing him the whole time. That son of a bitch. I'm pissed now. But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? He even used a taxi to get there. Do you mean this might be another incident? Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Mm. So you're trying to link the fucking Phantom Thieves to this. That's why you were so mad at me in the interrogation room, because you thought we were doing this shit. There ain't no way that's going to happen, okay? Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible. <laughs> why are you that? Don't act so upset about it, you know? You're going to give yourself away now. How are you so certain? Well, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Nice of, um, cover up there. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh. You're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Hmm? N never mind. It's nothing. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? Jesus. <sighs> this is bad. I better tell the others. Now she's got a she's got a death look in her eyes against the Phantom Thieves. 
Yeah, this is kind of fucked. This is bad. Again, yes! Thanks, Phantom Thieves! You know what? It's the first time at school in a while. I'm so sleepy. Oh, you over you jet lag? Uh, I am. For real? That was quick. Oh yeah, never mind that. You know this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting really psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Hell Good yeah, morning. dude. Good morning, TL Game Senpai and Sakamori Senpai, correct? Oh, morning. You're back today, too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Uh, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all your stories from Hawaii. You got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Yes. Um, yes, that sounds great. <laughs> she didn't say bullshit stories, but okay. Huh? What about the class? There's another urgent assembly. Is it true he died? He was really taking some heat. What's happened to this school? Are we cursed? Yeah, he was fucking fucked up. Who the fuck is the principal now, dude? This has to be about you know what, right? With the principal. Who's this fucker? And Vice now principal. Begin the emergency morning assembly. As many of you may already know, Principal Kobayakawa passed away yesterday. I wonder if that suicide rumor's for real. It happened in front of the police station, didn't it? I think I was passing through there at the time. The principal had been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit, he was covering something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? Oh, you guys too now? Are you kidding me? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was gonna kill himself to make up for everything he did. Now that rating is gonna go down and people are gonna say we're not just anymore. That would be amazing! Either way, it serves that principle right. Hell no! We didn't do jack shit! Are people gonna blame us for this too? I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students, and... <laughs> Where is Makoto? I didn't even see her. Thought I mean, I was looking around and he's... Oh, good say. Come and bring us back now. I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the data from my laptop? How did you freaking notice traces of tampering? No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. We're starting And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? Man, this is... The, she's, we're starting to turn this interrogation around, dude. Like, <laughs> at first she was all on us. Now, now, now she's just worried about herself and her sister. It's true. Man, nothing is... We don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Do you believe me now? I have no reason to believe everything you've said. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. I feel my bond with Say is growing deeper. Jeez. I didn't even know this shit was gonna happen, dude. It's like, fucking... I can't believe. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Why did it turn out as it did? I have no idea. The summary of the stories up to this point has been updated. Maybe I'll, like, read out everything in, like, a podcast voice. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. People are already talking about it online. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. 
Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? If we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart, maybe this never would have happened. But then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down. There's a lot of opinions online. It's only natural that he died, covering up crimes is wrong. The comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. Yeah, I saw that. that I thought it was going to water down the idea of what a calling card was, because then if we give a calling card to someone, they're going to be like, ah, well, they probably just bought that on the, the Phantom Thieves website or whatever. And then they wouldn't care. And then the, the treasure wouldn't reappear, you know? I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. That's... Well, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? You tell them, Inari. Why me? First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. The corporation Okumura Foods. More prominently, its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Kumura? I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. How is he being benefited from it? From Big Bang Burger. Big Bang Burger? For real? You know, they only got famous sometime in the past few years. They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but still... We have even more evidence than that. Tell them, Futaba. I already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAV. He has a palace for sure. Ooh, alright. That settles it then! He's totally our next target! That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly... Beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... unsettling. Yeah... The excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. You too, Han? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? L looks like we're not gonna agree today, then. Sheesh! Some team you are! What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this! Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. God damn, Morgana, what's gotten into you? Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here, too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey! You little... <laughs> Fine. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. Well, well she was she more, was useful, more than useful than you, as a matter of fact. Matter of fact. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is! Oh god, no. This is... We had this deal with... We had this happen with Chie in the Persona 4, too. Alright then, bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Well, this is goodbye. 
What's gotten into you? Uh, Morgana, wait! See you. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, well, what the <sighs> fuck now? I bet he's back in no time. <sighs> Damn it. I'm human. I have to be. All right. I've managed by myself before, and I can do it again now. You were in a jail cell in Kamashita's place. Don't even fucking talk like that. You just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. What the fuck went in there? Huh? That kitty. Why do I keep seeing you everywhere? The fuck, man? I can't believe this. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. Why does he keep talking with Say like they're like... They're like co-workers or something. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. Ha! <laughs> Get him, Akechi! You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. God damn, man. Akechi, you're starting to grow on me a little bit here. It's all for the sake of the case. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, Sai-san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. My superiors told me the same thing. SIU? What the hell is the SIU, guys? That's what I was talking about. That director. He's like, oh, well, maybe we should make him have a heart attack and get blow, run over by a fucking truck, you know? I guarantee you it's the same thing that happened to Futaba's mother. Guys, I remember the, the name now. I'm getting better at that. <laughs> we first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. This opponent can't be caught by following the rules. What need is there to stick to formalities? So, you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society? Just like that show I watched, Mouse MD. <laughs> I hope you realize that's no different than what the Phantom Thieves are doing. Yeah, there you go. It's a shame. Especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns. Really messed up. What are you doing now? Where are Shall you? We dispose of it. Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Is this really impossible alone? How horrible! What? What? I, I can't see. Who's there? Esther. What the fuck? Do we oh my god! She was the other one in the fucking... She was the other one in the... What the fuck was that? How the fuck is she in the back door? Where the fuck is Morgana? Hey, have you seen Morgana? And why the fuck is that son of a bitch in the motherfucking thing? Is, is, is Morgana in the metaverse? Why the fuck is that girl in there? If he is. What the fuck? Should we look for him? I want to, but... Maybe we're worrying too much. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day. Y'all are worrying too much. He's probably just off doing his own stuff. I remember he used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? 
An is worried. I think it's just Ryuji's. Oh well. Have a good day. Man, that's fucking messed up. How did he even get there? Where the fuck is There's he? There's no one like the Phantom Thieves. That son of a bitch. There was fucking robots there. Was like, shall we dispose of it? How the fuck did he get there? I don't buy that our principal's death was an accident. I think the Phantom Thieves killed him. You think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? Why? Think about coming to his victims. The principal is just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. This is exactly what the SIU director wants. He wants all this shit put on the Phantom Thieves. Oh, that's Yesterday, disappointing. my wife threw out one of the books without asking me. The Okamura Way. And it was even signed. With his logical management skills, he revived this company that was on the verge of bankruptcy. He then started Big Bang Burger, a bold and creative venture. Okamura's words are a philosophy on life itself. How could she sell that to a secondhand shop? But in times like these, getting one's mind to switch gears is key. Wouldn't you agree, TL Game Coon? A second-hand shop is mostly meant for a sale of goods, but supporting charitable causes. Do you but know the answer? What does a pawn shop offer that a second-hand shop doesn't? Money loans for collateral, refunds, deeds of ownership. Money loans for collateral. This is it. Very good. Correct. Thrift stores are comparatively less focused on money management, but larger businesses could donate unused stock to them and use them as a tax write-off that way. It takes incredible business acumen to figure out how to be both profitable and charitable at once. No way. Whoa, we actually knew that? Maybe I can ask him if I could borrow his notes. I feel like I get a little smarter. Yeah, they, uh... You say, hey, I need some money. They're like, oh, give me something that's worth like that. And like, all right, and then you bring the money back, and if you don't, they're going to sell it. I just remembered, there are rumors that President Okamura may be getting into politics. Is it true that the current administration is incompetent in a number of ways? I would love to have a charismatic man like him meeting the country. Who's that? Hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? Uh, what's wrong? We're gonna weigh it together in case Morgana comes home. Anyway, come straight home. I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. We should just hurry and come back. Oh my god. After them. Where did they go? We must find them. Oh, they're actually. Be on guard. There are two of them. Divide and pursue. Intruders discovered. Commencing pursuit protocol. God damn. Mona's still not home. I'm sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. <laughs> People are starting to catch on. Hey, is this Okumura? Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. You think Mona charged in there by himself? It's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it sometimes, but he's totally a capable cat when he wants to be one. Either way, let's go to Okumura's palace tomorrow. We'll contact everyone. Well, shit. Mm -hmm. He's like, palace? What are you talking about? <laughs> Morgana went to Okamura's palace? Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. The palace is most likely a corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. Alright, let's do it. We gotta look into those mental shutdown things, too. I'd prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then, don't for then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget, everyone. Cool. Let's pursue Morgana tomorrow. That son of a bitch getting himself into a lot of trouble here. Alright guys, that's gonna have to be it for today. My name is Liz Friday Warner Be sure to like, comment, subscribe to this video for more awesome content. And I'll see you guys later.